Jesus said in Matthew 10, verse 28, he said, do not fear those who can kill the body, but cannot kill the soul. He said, rather fear him that can kill both soul and body in hell, fear God. And I was talking to my brother and I told him to notice how Jesus did not say to fear hell. He said to fear God, right? And my brother was like, he was saying, well, isn't fearing hell and fearing God the same thing? And I told him, no, because you can't be obedient to hell, but you can be obedient to God. Hell did not write you a Bible to live by. So the Holy Spirit gave me an analogy while I was talking to my little brother. And I asked him, I said, we used to get whoopings. So I asked my brother, I said, Zeke, did you fear the whoopings more or did you fear um, our dad more? Did you fear being disobedient to our dad more? And my brother. Ooh, that's a good question. Who do you, who do you fear the most? That, obviously in that situation. I said, I feared the whoopings more, of course. And I told him, that's exactly why you kept getting whooped. Because you never really feared being disobedient to our parents. You just feared the punishment. <laughs> it's just like how some people, they fear getting a life sentence, but they don't really fear the police. And that leads to them getting that life sentence anyways. Just like how some people, they don't, they don't fear the teachers in school, but they fear getting expelled. Which leads to them getting expelled anyways. Just like how some people, they don't fear their managers, but they fear getting fired. Like if a co-worker yeah. fears his... There, there is a saying of, uh, like, I don't know how to say it in Spanish or well, in English. But I'll have to look it up. But it's, in Spanish, it's like, no es lo mismo llamarlo que verlo venir. Like, it's not the same calling him than seeing it coming your way. Whatever it is his manager he won't be disobedient to the manager he'll follow the rules of the manager he won't try to test the manager but the co-worker that only fears getting fired and doesn't fear the manager he'll test the manager to see how far of a line he can cross he'll see how lenient the manager is to see how much he can he can just just twist the words of the manager to see how much he can fit between every gap because he doesn't fear the manager he just fears getting fired so in Genesis chapter 22 God tells Abraham to sacrifice his only son Isaac on an altar right so Abraham, he, he follows the plan. He's about to sacrifice his son on an altar. But Abraham has a choice. He either can choose to fear being disobedient to God, or he can choose to fear this punishment, which is sacrificing his only son on an altar, right? Yeah. So Abraham makes a choice. He rises up against his son. He's about to sacrifice his only son. And an angel comes and says, Abraham, stop. And the angel says something interesting. He says, now I know that you fear the Lord. How many times has God tested you to see if you Amen. fear being disobedient or if you only fear punishment? I have some verses right here that I want to show you guys. Remember these or write these down. So we're going we're to connect all of these verses together. So 1 John 4 and 8 says God is love. Remember that. 1 John 4 and 8 says God is love. Proverbs God 9 and 10 says this though. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Right? So God is love. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Now 1 John 4 and 18 says this. There is no fear in love, but perfect love casts out fear because fear has to do with punishment. Whoa, 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 whoa God. So <laughs> okay. the Bible says that you okay. are actually... Hey, y'all got that? Y'all got that? ...actually love. That's deep. But the Bible also That's says that reasoning. the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. But then the Bible says that there is no fear in love, but perfect love actually casts out fear. So how does this make sense? So there's two types of fears. There's the fear of the Lord and it's the fear of punishment. The Bible says perfect love casts out fear because that fear has to do with punishment. So if you fear punishment, which means if you fear hell, it's because you don't love God perfectly. So it's actually an error to walk in the fear of punishment more than in the fear of the Lord. And if you want to know which that, fear you walk... That's what I was trying to say. Like, if you feel the Lord, if you feel the Lord more, it's because you love more. I don't know if that makes sense. You have more respect for him. Now, if you, if you just fear hell, just fear him for your life, for your... Uh, human life if that makes sense you know like you feel the punishment does, does that make sense i think y'all get i think y'all get the point i can ask break yourself break or answer your answer this question imagine a world where there was no hell hell didn't exist how would your walk with god look would you still be yes, obedient to god yes. and however you answer that question that's how you know which fear you're walking in jesus said Yo. in matthew 10 hey Wow, 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 wow. Bro, the analogy on whooping was so good, okay? It was the most perfect way to explain that. This was the most perfect way to explain that. It's so easy. It's so easy. 